Hey everyone, RCD Butts here, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to replace uh, the front torque tubes in a Rave 450 helicopter. A lot of this information will transfer to um, most other helicopters, but in the Rave 450, you know, there's some small, slight differences. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is back out uh, the four screws on each side. I've already got these ones backed out a little bit, uh, so we're going to get these ones backed out the rest of the way, uh, pull them out over here, get to these torque tubes and gears. I uh, got this side already pre-backed out a little bit so I'm just backing them out. Uh, you're gonna want to make sure you have these all out because you're gonna be pulling the tail. And then there's also the back part over here. You're also going to want to uh, pull these out so you've got more flexibility uh, with the tail. When you get them in, make sure you know you put thread lock back on on the screws and get them all nice and tight. Um, we'll do the other side here as well. Okay, so we've got the supports backed up and. Now for this, we can just pull this little guy out here. Uh, we can detach the servo if we want, uh, but just for ease of doing this, I'm just going to keep the servo plugged in. Uh, so down here, we have these two things, which uh, they're going to move. Uh, but the gear right here that we're replacing is these two things. So if there's a little screw in here that you're going to have to back out that holds this whole assembly uh, together as well as two other screws here we'll show you in the front also going to unscrew these guys All these, all these screws are the same length, I believe, so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. It's metal and metal, so it's going to be tight. Okay, so once you back those little screws out there, you're going to have this little assembly that has the... Uh, one with the umbrella gears here, which, you know, mine has been chunked away. And it's being held in here by a little grub screw. So we're going to want to pull this little grub screw out here. It's holding that in place. And then pull this little assembly apart. So we've got this little bottom part here this bevel gear, uh, our grub screw, and this assembly. You know that we've got this little assembly taken off. Uh, we're going to see what kind of different replacements we have. Uh, usually there's these white bevel gear sets. You can, you've got the front bevel gear set and then just regular bevel gears. I found over on main, A Main Hobbies, we have this uh, aggressive 3D gear set. So I guess these are actually a little bit stronger than the white ones. And I have a tendency to grind up my front gears uh, with my Rave all the time. So hopefully this is going to be a little bit more aggressive. So we're going to install this more aggressive set first. So just like we took this apart, we're going to put this little set back together. Uh, the bevel gear here with the groove ground into it, you're going to insert it from into the part where the, where the holes are. So see there's a protrusion and then the side where the holes are, that's the part that's going to go in, down like that. And then this you 
you need to use this little gold metal this slider from here take it off the white part and just like we had it in there we're going to put it into this I put that in backwards, yep. I did. I'm gonna put it in this way. The middle part goes into the side where the gears are at, and it's gonna line up evenly. Oh, forgot one also very important aspect of this. There's a hole in here that you need to line up. So line up the holes here, and then push it through. There we go. So you've got the hole coming through, and you put it in the side where the, the gears are. We'll trial and error there. So you want to line it up with the hole. Right here we've got the little bevel, the indentation in this. You want to line it up here Give your grub screw make sure you put thread lock on it I have and then screw it through here to hold this into place Apparently, still have a little more ways to go. Make sure we're lined up with the bevel gear. Just gonna go in there really tight. <sighs> yeah. Great thing about the Rave 450 kit uh, these screws here, they're not made of cheesium, they're really, really hard. And it's great. I, I have yet to strip a screw on, on this kit. So make sure this whole thing moves smoothly as it should. You know, and it's in place that you can't counter rotate these guys. And then you're going to want to replace the little bevel gear in here. And when you loosen this up earlier, it should allow you to pull this thing out. Let's pull that out. So you've got this chunked up here. Replace it with you know, your replacement end. Notice how there's a little indent here. You're going to have to find exactly where the indentation is. So you want to make sure you line it up with the indentation. You look down the hole and then try to push it in there to where it lines up with that. And make sure when you turn this that you've got the back blades spinning you know and try to hold the black back blade see if you if you can spin it um, you gotta push it in there as much as you can okay so once you've got this guy on nice and tight you're gonna take this assembly that you've uh, pre-built and you're going to put it on here and see where the little hole is down here the, the hole clamp you're gonna make sure that uh, the umbrella gear the umbrella part is on the opposite side and that this uh, flat disc gear is on the same side as this little hole. Put this in here. Screws gone. A bit of strange angle here. This one started. Find the next one. Same thing over on this side. Make 
sure you've got thread lock on these. Fairly tight. I'm going to go back to this one. Nice and tight. Okay, and then when you spin this, it should be spinning the, the tail uh, just like this. So, make sure you've got the tail spinning when you're spinning this. And you should be able to hold the tail, and it should keep you from spinning this too. So, once you've got those replaced, uh, you're good to go to put it right back in here. You have to make sure you've got this part, you've gotten that one tightened. And you're going to tighten this one again once you get it lined up perfectly. Uh, is get it placed back in here and you want to line up the holes. Of course. Just basically do the opposite. what you did to take it apart. Once you get those holes lined up the way they're supposed to, hold that in place, get the hex bolts going, a couple turns by hand if you can. I just get this front one going in here first. Get those nice and tight. And then you can line up the back one. Line the holes up. Do the same thing. So then that's all you have to do, you know. Get these guys nice and tight. Do the same on the opposite side. Tighten these screws, tighten these screws. Don't forget this screw down here to tighten this, this back clamp. And make sure that you've gotten the one in the front. And then come back here and make sure that you've got your tail screwed in nice and tight. Or your tail support rod. Uh, you're going in the middle here, so same thing. Lock tight. You're screwing in the middle, don't forget your Loctite. Alright, feel free to ask any questions on the channel. Um, have a good one.